Melissa Humana Paradis and Taylor Pischke compete at 3 o'clock this afternoon in beach volleyball. They'll be oh, playing okay, quite, oh, I didn't say for the bronze. One more time, sorry. Okay. When Melissa Humana Paradis and Taylor Pischke compete at 3 o'clock this afternoon for the bronze in beach volleyball, they'll be playing on home soil, quite literally. The sand. In these courts, in this court, it's from Ontario's cottage country, and it's refined using a made in Canada technology that is the talk of the tour. Todd Napton is the vice president of Hutchison Sand and Mixes. Good afternoon. Waiting to meet me here. This is the venue he built, and it is beautiful. Welcome to the beach. Thank you. <laughs> in the middle of town, it's terrific. And it's been just a great vibe. You must be happy with how it's awesome. going. Awesome. We've had a great time. We've had some great spectators. The, the games have been fantastic. The weather. How can you ask for No more? complaints. And everyone's raving about the sand. Where does this sand come from, Tom? This sand is coming out of Muskoka. It's coming out of cottage country, bringing it down, washed, processed, clean, ready to go for the games, and uh, it's worked out very, very well. So it's from your quarry, but obviously it's washed and processed. Tell me about Correct. the process that it goes through to come here. Mother Nature started the process, obviously, with the, the glacial deposit. We've then taken, screened out the stone and, and larger particles and so on and then sized it down to this FIVB spec that we've created for okay. the Federation. So it's pretty, let me try it. So it's pretty, it's fine. It's, tell me about it's, its wonderful. properties. It's beautiful. It's a subangular sand, so it's a rounded sand. That's why it feels so soft. We've washed all the silts and clays out of it, so it doesn't compact. Bring on the rain, it'll drain it. We know exactly, yeah. scientifically, how many inches per hour it will drain for the games in case there's a, an event of a it's bad like storm. It's powder, it just leaves a powdery wonderful. finish. Wonderful, yeah, nothing yeah. left even on a clean shirt. How on earth did you get into this niche? <laughs> <laughs> we've, been in the, we've been in the sand business, in the golf business, in the aggregate business for, for 25 years, over 25 years. But uh, a couple of the boys from the, the bronze Olympic team, John Child and Marquis. In 1996 Atlanta. In 96 Atlanta, came back with a medal and I said, wow, this is incredible. How was the sand? They said, it was great. And I said, where's the best sand you've ever played on? And he said, oh, it's coming out of one of the beaches in South America. I said, well, get a sample of it. So they gave me a sample of it. We just kind of did a bit of a reverse engineering on it and produced something even better even than what better? they were playing on. So now we've set a standard, a benchmark for the Federation. So we can go anywhere in the world and duplicate the material. And you have been we for have. years and years, for the past 15 years. So 15 how many years. beaches like this have you created, do you think? I, we're probably up around, the question was asked this morning, we're probably around 300 now. No the, way. Yeah, different Where? beaches all over the world. We just flew in. We were in, uh, in Qatar, in Doha done that. We did the first European Games ever held in Azerbaijan in Baku, moving material from Turkey into Baku. Did you do that great beach in London, the Olympics? We did. We in did Horse Guard Parade in 2012. You did that? Yeah, it was that fantastic. That was terrific. Right I saw Queen. that. Oh, that makes me ask, what about Rio? Will you be building the beach there? Uh, Rio, the beach there is a, a wonderful beach, so we, we have to be careful there. We'll go down and we'll source the sand and we'll have a look at it and clean it up and tidy it up and make sure it's fine for the athletes and safe. That's that's what it comes down to. So you won't actually create something. You'll work there with what is there. Mother Nature's given us some material there to work with and we'll, we'll fix it up from there. You know, Canada's not exactly a beach nation, is it? It's so funny that you're the you know the toast of the of the town, toast of the world in this. It's fun. It's it's we get we get to put some air miles on and we get to uh, <laughs> supply some of the best beaches in the world in in places that we never thought we'd do it before. It's terrific. You didn't by any chance put a lucky loony underneath this sand, did you, for the Canadian team? If you can come back tomorrow after the match, we'll dig a hole and we'll see what we can find. Might you have some hmm, <laughs> a mystery? Oh, I like that. So what about? You know, we're getting too close to the end of the beach volleyball. What will happen to this one? It's all done. We're going to start and take this out on the evening of the 24th. We'll pack it all up on the 78 trucks that we brought down, and we'll take it back, and we're going to build a brand new training facility as a legacy from the Pan Am Games um, for future grassroots athletes. What a terrific story. Yeah, it's wonderful. Listen, such a treat to meet you. Congratulations Pleasure. Thank you. all that you built here and around the world, and we'll look forward to seeing you in Rio. Well done. Thank you Sounds very much. Good. Appreciate it.